Good morning all. Today is determining the rules for graphs of circular functions. So getting a lot more practical. So we'll get straight into it. A function has rule f of t equals a sine nt. The amplitude 6, the period's 10. So start with a quick sketch. We've got the um, amplitude is 6, the period is 10, so we know we break the period into four pieces. Easy when it's a whole number, so 5, 2.5 and 7.5. Sine graphs start in the middle and go up. So there's our quick sketch of the graph. So, we know the amplitude, so A is equal to 6. Remember the amplitude the distance. It's never negative from the middle to either the maximum or minimum. And the only thing we need to know now is this n value. So we know that 2 pi on n is equal to the period. In this case, the period is 10. One mistake people make is they put the 10 in for n, but we need to work out what n, what n actually is. So that's 2 pi on n. Transpose and you get 2 pi on 10 equals n. So swap the 10 and the n. And simplify that and we'll become pi on 5. So your equation becomes f of t equals 6 sine pi on 5t. Even label it up t f of t there we go lovely all right a similar sort of a question um, in this next one uh, this time you've got a vertical translation as well though so pretty easily you can see where you've got y equals a sine nt plus b the b is the vertical translation so b equals how far the middle is shifted up. So b is equal to 4. The amplitude is how far up or down you go from the middle. So we can see from that one a is equal to 2. Difference between 6 and 4. And again, you've got to work out the n value given a period. So there's a period here. Just repeat that length. So your period is 6, so 2 pi on n equals your period, 2 pi on n equals 6. Move the n across and the 6 down, so n is equal to 2 pi on 6, so n is equal to pi on 3. So your equation becomes y equals a was 2 sine n was pi on 3, t plus whatever the b value was, which was 4. That's a horrible looking 4, I might just rewrite that one. There we go, that'll do it justice. 26, a function with the rule a sine nt plus b has a range of negative 2 to 4. And a period of three, find a, b, and n. So again, quick little sketch. We know, we'll mark in zero there. This is minus two. Try and get somewhat to scale. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, some scale would be something close would be good. So if we know that that range is from negative 2 to 4, that's obviously a gap of 6. So the middle section there will be halfway between that. So that will make the amplitude 3. So A equals 3. Um, and it's got a period of 3. So there's our period there. There's 3. Half it is 3 on 2, half of that is 3 on 4. So 
So if we mark in our um, sign graph, starts in the middle, goes up. Just sort of good practice for drawing your signs, if nothing else. So we have, um, if that value is, that middle value must be at, if it's three either side, that must be at minus one. Uh, it must be at, not minus one, it must be at one. Do it in red. So we know that B is equal to one, that's how far it's shifted vertically. The amplitude was three, so A was equal to three. We know the period is two pi on N. And we know the period's three. Uh, is 2 pi on n, change that round, n equals 2 pi on 3. I think we've got all the bits we need now. So y equals 3 sine 2 pi on 3 t. Uh, what have we got there? Plus b. So plus 1. Lovely. And last example, a function with the rule a sine nt plus epsilon, so that little symbol there, that little e is epsilon, has the following properties. Um, in doing these, you need to be really a little bit careful here. I hate them written that way and will always take out the n as a common factor. So if we take out the n as a common factor, then it becomes t plus epsilon on n. The reason for doing that is then the shift of the graph is, well, it'll be negative epsilon on n. If you don't take out the n, um, it's easy to get the, um, the shift wrong. Okay, so a function with the rule a sine nt plus epsilon has the following properties. The range is minus two to two. So like always, just put in that little sketch. The range is minus two to two. So there's no vertical translation in this one. Um, so the amplitude, of course, is two. Remember, you can never have a negative amplitude. The period is six. Been very nice how they've given us whole numbers. Uh, what's that, one and a half? Three, four and a half. So four and a half is what's that? Nine on two. Okay. All uh, right. So and we know when t equals four, y equals zero. So we'll mark in when t equals four, y equals zero. Now, if we'd drawn the unshifted graph, we would have drawn it like this. We would have gone there, 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 and there, and we would have done that. But our graph has been shifted. Now, there's lots and lots of ways that you could shift it, and it doesn't make that 100% clear, um, because it just says when t is four, y is zero. So we could have just shifted it from three to four, or we could have shifted the zero from zero to four, or we could have shifted it backwards. So the, the zero that was at six could have been shifted back to four. Um, I think the easiest thing to do in this one, or the most straightforward thing, is just to shift the zero to four. So we'll work with that approach. So if I shift the zero to four, the new graph is going to look um, something like this. That's like the shifted graph. And so what we're looking for is how far that's been shifted. So let's go through all the, the normal part first of all. So we know the amplitude is two. We know the period is six, so that doesn't change by, by shifting it. So the period's equal to six. So two pi on n is equal to six. N is equal to two pi on six. N is equal to pi on three. So we've now got n equal to pi on three. And we know 
that the shift has been to the right. And remember this bit that I'm highlighting here, maybe I should do that in a different color. This bit that I'm hi highlighting here is the shift. So the shift is to the right, so we need that whole term to be negative. So to do the shift, epsilon on n, so e on, and we know that n is pi on three, has got to be equal to negative four. Okay, because that way it makes the bracket t minus, and so that'll make the shift to the right. So now just transpose to work out what epsilon is. So epsilon will equal uh, minus four times by what's on the bottom, so times by pi on three. So epsilon equals minus four pi on three. Find the values of a, b, n, and epsilon. So we've got a, um, find the values of a, n, and epsilon, no b. So a equals two, n equals pi on three, and epsilon equals minus four pi on three, and there is no need to write out the equation because they haven't asked for it. All right, that will certainly let you do all the questions. Um, these are really important to be able to do because we'll come into applications pretty soon. And if you can't write the equation from the graph, then you're not going to be able to do the application question. So please make sure that um, you can do all these before you move on. All right, um, I'll leave you with the questions. Bye.